The Ninebox model is a traditional tool used to analyze, share, and compare employee work performance and potential. It's intended to simplify the complicated, aka people, so the right people slot into the right roles. It looks like this, perhaps oversimplistically. You rate people's performance and potential using one of the nine boxes. Those boxes correspond to their effectiveness and their suitability as a current or future leader. So, how do you use it? Introduce the nine box grid to managers. Show them how it's used, then discuss, collaborate, and get them familiar with the system. Giving examples of typical behaviors will help them rate employees. Rather than analyzing individually, you can focus on specific levels or divisions of people. That way you can see if the model is used consistently or fairly across the business. With such a broad snapshot, it's difficult to take into account the many nuances of everyone's contribution that may not seem to fit into a single box. The nine box model is a stepping stone for employee progress and growth. It goes beyond roles to fill. It's about planning training so employees can excel. Once high potential is recognized, move on it. The nine box model can traditionally be rigid. So you can use it alongside things like 360 degree reviews to eliminate bias and support the talent management process. Once someone's performance has been assigned to one box, there's no reason why someone can't move to another in six months time. So reassess frequently. It's important to remember that sometimes people offer skills that fall outside the nine box pigeonhole which can strengthen the company and enrich its culture. Great for high employee well-being and high engagement, but it's a useful place to start. So, ready to find out about more ways to help understand people's skills and manage them effectively?